Today, I want to show you some of the cloud-native developer services that are available within Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I've logged into the OCI console. On the left nav, you'll notice a menu. If I drop down the menu to Developer Services, I see two managed services, one for a Docker registry and one for a managed Kubernetes service. Let's quickly look at the Docker registry. Clicking on OCIR, which stands for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Registry, I see the registry with a number of repositories and images. I can quickly look at one of these by clicking on a container image. Here, I see a Hello Earth image with metadata about the image, such as who pushed it and how long ago. You also get full visibility to the layers and any metadata associated with the image. Now, if I go over to Clusters, I can show you how easy it is to create a managed Kubernetes cluster with Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes, or OKE for short. I selected the Clusters page in the console. I'm going to create a new cluster by clicking the Create Cluster button. Within the wizard, I see it's automatically naming it for me. It's automatically selecting the Kubernetes version. By using this Quick Create feature, I'm going to take all the defaults, including the compute shape, which in this case is a VM. Bare metal shapes are also available for you to use. If I scroll down and click Create, the Kubernetes cluster is created automatically for me, including all the associated VCN components needed, and even a ready-to-use node pool. So everything you need to get started is getting created now. As you can see here in the cluster information, the cluster status is creating. Now let's watch as it brings up three VMs that are the Kubernetes worker nodes where your containers will run. The cluster is automatically spread over three availability domains for a high availability. I can see now my cluster is active and that the node pool is starting to provision. Okay. I now see my node pool is active. All three worker nodes within the node pool, which is configured in a high availability fashion, are up and running. I can now go and access the cluster by using the cube config. Access to the cube config is available right here in the console. Just as simple as that, I've created a cluster and can immediately begin using it. Thank you very much for watching this demo about Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes, an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Registry.